what is Metallica's worst song ever? Well, many people on the internet believe that it is Dirty Window from the album Saint Anger. Makes me mad just thinking about it. Now, in order to find out whether or not this claim is true, we'll be watching a live performance of Dirty Window recorded in San Francisco, California on December 19th, 2021. Now, if you're more interested in writing good songs and not bad ones, check out my music theory course in the description below. You'll learn a lot of things that James Hetfield already knows intuitively, like scales, chords, key signatures. You also get my scale and chord Bible plus my classical guitar package. Crazy amount of value. Grab it while it's 75% off and give me your soul. <laughs> now, according to songfacts.com, Dirty Window is about hypocrisy and the distortions of ego. In the song, Hetfield can't see the dirtiness of his own house, but is ready to condemn everything that's wrong with the world outside. Now, in the Bible, Matthew chapter 7, verses 4 and 5 reads, Or how can you say to your neighbor, let me take the speck out of your eye while there's a log in your own eye? You hypocrite! First take the log out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your neighbor's eye. Now Satan knows I'm going to need some WAP juice up in this bitch to get through it. Here we go. Cheers. Oh, 69 grams of protein per sip. Disgusting. All right, let me put my cans of power on, and we will <clears throat> watch and listen to what is supposed to be Metallica's worst song ever. Here we go. Give it to me, James. All right, we're doing stuff from every album like we did on uh, whatever the other day was. Today is Sunday. I think it was Friday. Uh, yeah, you get something from every album. Whee! Good for us. Okay, there's Lars rocking the kit. Right off the bat, I want to say they're in a very unusual key, C minor, which contains three flats. Very scary for a guitarist. Um, I don't think they usually tune to C, so this is uh, this is different. All right. Back up just a little bit. Okay, so we got like a, a blues riff here in C minor. First one sees his reflection. <laughs> different than what you see. <laughs> this house is clean. This house is clean, meaning I am not the perpetrator of what I espouse to hate so much. I can do no wrong. Which is kind of the way we all seem to see ourselves, isn't it? <laughs> Who I think I am. That's an interesting line, too. Are you congruent with the self perception that you promulgate out there in the world? Probably not. Okay, just went up to E flat, back down to C. Robert's rocking out with Lars. A little bromance there. Is this the chorus? Another one of those, like, bring it down for the chorus, kind of not what you're expecting. A lot of rhyming going on here. 
69 rhymes in a row. Justin Bieber, who he thinks he is? Is DJ Khaled, who he thinks he is? I don't know. Interesting to think about, though. Back it up just a touch. The modulation. Up to E flat. <laughs> I swing my hammer down. I'm the judge and the jury, the alpha and omega of the legal process. Wouldn't we all like to be in that position? It kind of comes back to that saying, absolute power corrupts absolutely, right? If you're in charge and you have all the say-so, then you just make the rules to benefit yourself. <laughs> Here we're kind of like, now we're G, G, F, A flat, judge, jury, executioner, now the rhyming rampage. It's worth three time there. Intro. Solo. Ooh. Tritone dissonance. Well, who has signed those pickups? Is that maybe Justin Bieber's signature? Cardi B, perhaps? DJ Khaled? It's hard. It's hard to tell. I can't quite make it out. Maybe someone in the comments let me know. I also have another question. Why does Kirk Hammett always dye his fingernails black? I've never known the answer to that. Comments below. Let me know. This is an interesting solo. He didn't really have to stay in any particular key because there's no like harmony in the background. It gives you a lot of Freedom is basically just percussive presence going on, if you think about it. Do that wah to me. There's Robert. 666 lover energy. Chorus, bring down. Shh. I'm judging of jury and I'm executioner too. <laughs> There's the rhyming again. Oh shit, look. Loris has some WAP juice there on the left. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I drink from the cup of denial. Judging the world. That's a cool line. Dirty 
felt so dirty after listening to that song. <laughs> Get out of me, dirty window. Okay, well, there's Metallica's worst song ever, according to the internet. I definitely wouldn't say it's their best song. If you listen to the studio version of that track, um, yeah, I don't know. Like, the drum sound is pretty wild, especially the snare. Um, the excessive rhyming comes off as a bit cheesy. Now, the album Saint Anger was recorded in 2003. It was a very tumultuous time for the band where they almost split up. And I haven't really heard much of the record, to be honest, but from what I have heard, it seems like they were really trying to find a new creative direction for the band. So people that were into the old thrash roots, you know, uh, there's some conflict there. You know, Metallica, I think, was maybe just getting bored creatively and trying to find, you know, new sounds. But as a band who has a particular brand to keep up, you have to be careful how much you divert from that original uh, sound that you have. And I will say, I do find the lyrics to be quite insightful. I think of social media as our own dirty window. I think it's really revealed a lot of aspects of human nature that we didn't quite uh, admit to ourselves or really come to terms with. Essentially, the internet and social media has just given us a lot more data on who we are as homo sapiens. And sometimes that reflection looking back at us is quite evil. <laughs> Now shred that subscribe button, and if you want to go really deep into all of my lessons and courses, check out my Patreon page below. And until next time, my friends, stay evil. <laughs>